there everybody, this is Joker Spice, bring a little spice to your life. Last time we defeated Miss Ruby, right here in the Vicious Voodoo the, in Haiti. And now we have to fight the Panda King Travel in China. China have all been worked out. Thank you so much, Bentley. Uh, we have to go to China now to defeat the Panda King. We saw a little poster of him actually. So we kind of know what he looks like already in, uh, in Mesa City. And it's the last location and seems to be very up north somewhere in Russia. Um, but who knows? And that's all the levels. So, um, yeah, we only, we're, we're coming near the end of this one, guys. And uh, what does Marie have to say? Oh, come on. <laughs> Soon. That's funny. All right. Let's just jump in right into China. Let's do it. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. The Panda King. Not even a name, just the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Sly Cooper in! Fire in the sky. Cool. This is a particularly good world. I am. It's definitely better than the last one. One hundred percent. It's way cooler. I've always been a fan of ice worlds in general. So let's just get in. Get in this world, fresh and brand new. Let's do it. So I also like the level the guys here. So you got this cool monkey guy. He does cool flips. I gotta make sure to use my little tattle thing too. So uh, he's right here, actually. Stickus Bambunium. Kung Pao. Liz for the World Cup soccer. That's funny. He really likes soccer. Soccer is a pretty fun sport, so I can see why. Alright, we've got 30 of these blue bottles. It's pretty cool. Oh, don't wanna get hit. So this guy does a nice baseball swing, eh? Just hit him right in the face. Don't think that's the same guy as what we saw last time, then. Um, what is this? Wonton. Like a wonton? I get it. Monkey Aspherium. And then who's that? Andre. His name is just Andre? Gorillas Cap Catapolis? I get. I don't know. Andre's not a very Chinese name, so... It might not be, uh... It might not all be Asian here. Like his face. He's like, no, don't touch me, no. Nah, man. You throw monkeys at me, I'll throw a monkey right back in your face. All right, seems like we're doing pretty good over here. Gotta go ahead and we're gonna go way high up in the mountains. So. Would you look at that? A uh oh. Show. What? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's awful. That poor village just got buried. He just killed a lot of people in front of us. It came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Yeah, that's that's really crazy. So yeah, the Panda King is not a good guy, so we gotta go stop his operation and get another page out of the Raccoonus. Uh Thievius Raccoonus, I mean. Alright, we're almost Oh, that was close. Come on. All right. That's what you get. Nice swat in the knees. I like these uh, these enemies a lot more than the swamp ones. I, I, I definitely like it when the game actually creates characters in, like, the Sly Cooper style. You know, rather... Oh, okay. So, uh, we got a new ability, actually, um, from from World 3. So now we're, like, when we go next to the, like, like we can, we can turn invisible now, kind of. It's it's a weird thing. All right, let's let's keep going. Gotta be careful of these big icicles that form and then 
fall immediately. Um, very dangerous stuff. Come on, let's go. Where are these icicles? Oh, that was close, actually. Oh man, we just did the ice cap zone in Sonic DX not too long ago, so like, it's giving me memories of that. Alright, sweet. Oh, bunch of monkeys. We got ice physics? Nope. Okay, perfect. An ice level without ice physics? That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Smack you right in the face. Smack you. Did I just get hit? Actually? Oh, he cuddles the monkey. When when he they hit us. That's kind of cute, but also we all we already know those monkeys go right into like the pit of no return, so it's a uh, not that cute. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh use my roll nor my dive technique. One in the face, two in the stinker. All right. Let me just go ahead and double check. No, how many clue bottles we got? 11 only so far. We've all gone through quite a bit of the level, so I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Panda King, I like... These, all these guys really like having their face everywhere. They think they'd try to do a bit more of an undercover operation, but I guess not. Huh, fireworks. Hitting these will just give us a bunch of coins. They're kind of cool though to make all these fireworks blow up. Oh, thankfully, we're not blowing up any villages doing that. What? Oh! Alright, well, <laughs> I guess that's what happens if you get too close. Uh, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Alright, I'm back! So, uh,. Tip, tip. Go far away. <laughs> so you don't get absolutely ass blasted to the middle of freaking Vancouver from Russia. Or from China, sorry. We're in China. The next world's in, in Russia. Cool, 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 cool. We got this big old monkey. I'm gonna go ahead and knock him off the cliff. That's not murder. Um. Whoa. Look at this gorilla, he's like, oh, there's, there's nothing down there. Oh, I wonder what's down there, even though I'm looking right at it. Oh, that was pretty close, actually. <sighs> Less alarm systems and more actual men. That's pretty good so far. I mean, I'm assuming all these gorillas are men. I guess it's possible some of them are girls. All right, let's go ahead and beat these guys up. Woo! All the clue bottles, they were hidden here. <laughs> the weird flight patterns of these things kind of, kind of just... <laughs> oh, here's a safe, but we're gonna have to come back for this. Oh, the door opens. Come on, camera, follow me outside. Nice. All right, I believe we... This is the almost the end of the level, actually, so... Well, at least I hit that checkpoint. I was gonna say, I think all the rest of the clue bottles must be... must... What?! Oh, I'm here. Okay. okay. Yeah, all the rest of the clue bottles must be around here somewhere. Um... If I recall correctly, these guys are like the dogs. So you don't... you don't want to let them know you're here. Like, you don't even want to kill one of them. Okay, we got 19. So we're doing pretty good. Let me see what happens if I kill one, actually. Yeah, they're after me. Oh, am I gonna get them all? These dumb apes. These stupid monkeys. You guys let me walk all over you. That's not usually supposed to happen. Oh my god. They're stupid. Eat it! Eat eat cane, motherfuckers. Alright, I should stop swearing as much. No, no, no. No! Oh, I have a I have a thing. We're good. We're good. Don't throw another one. Yes. Keep doing that. Keep thinking I'm there for some reason. I think we got them all. Man, that made this section way easier than normal. Um, so yeah, all the rest of the clue bottles are actually right here. It's weird to have all, like, half the clue bottles in one area like this, in a level, but I'm not complaining that much. As long as they're somewhere. 
Um, oh, that's the... Oh, yeah, we, we, we can go ahead and collect that. You know what, I have to say, this this particular key was, was protected a lot better than the other guys. Is this technically downhill? No. These, so getting good at the roll is really important in being able to complete those time challenges that I've hinted at. Um, so like, I should be using it more often, but I don't know. I haven't really ever completed any of the time challenges. Not even the first one. The first one's impossible. Input five seven eight. Five seven eight. Okay. Man, I can't even put numbers in the vault. If you're liking what you're seeing so far, guys, I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this world so far. It's pretty cool, literally. Ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper. Huckleberry Cooper. To move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. So we, you saw we were able to turn invisible, kind of. Um, but now we can actually straight up be invisible, like anytime we want. Where is it? Oh, so you just press circle. Whenever and you just now we're invisible. No one can freaking see us, but we're just slow and You can combine this with fast to go a little bit faster So maybe that's the use for it, but I don't know um, And hey if you guys want to be notified for when the next episode shows up make sure you guys uh, subscribe That way you'll get that notification With the first intro level out of the way, let's go see what the rest of this world has to offer inside the stronghold. Alright, let's see if we got anything to look for around here. No any clue bottles, obviously, but maybe we'll got some hidden goodies around here. So that's what we need the treasure keys for. Bentley is no longer doubting us anymore. He's a lot more confident in our abilities. I guess we've proved him a thing or two. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. All right. Well, that level seems to be as a, any good place to start. So let's start with that one. Flaming Temple of Flame. Start good place as any to start, I guess. Sounds redundant. The Flaming Temple of Flame. What about just the Flaming Temple? Oh, this level. I remember this level because there is one clue bottle that I remember being like super ridiculous to get. So I'm gonna be very diligent in getting all of them because I really, really don't want to miss it this time. Like facade, this place is really some sort of training ground. Stay on your toes. Yeah, a training ground, eh? Honestly, all this stuff makes me think of the Fire Temple from from the last air, Airbender, especially with the name Flaming Temple of Flame. Um, Flamey O, guys. Flamey O. <laughs> oh my god, what a, what a throwback. Whew, we got a bunch of stuff here, and uh, make sure you guys don't forget that. Actually, I think I remember where that one is. The the one that I'm thinking of. That's that is really easily, like, missable. I think it's, like, on the cliff around here somewhere. Yay. Um... What a weird angle to have us walk through. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Like somewhere here, you can get out. There we go. This is such a weird place to hide one because like you think, why would it be here? Why, why would we put stuff here? This might not be the place though. Come on. I don't know. I, w I just wouldn't come here. Like, if I was just blasting through the level, like, it's just, it's like a weird place to put it. But you know what? I'm actually not going to complain because at least it doesn't make us restart the entire level like it did in, in Haiti. 
Kaboom. Did I, I hit that guy like three million times. Ugh. Maybe they, maybe like testers of this game realize that like, <laughs> having only one hit every single time really sucked. Who's that? Chow Mei. Chimpus Kung Fuium. Listens to techno. Cool. That's a, that's a monkey? Oh. I always thought it was like a puma or something. Oh well. I'm not, not that I'm judging. She could be a she can be whoever she wants to be. Oh, we got another one of these weird monkey girls. Yeah, she looks like a tiger. These guys are very obnoxious. But they won't attack us. They're in the middle of their training. You can kill them if you want. Uh, what are their names? They are not enemies, I guess. So, we don't even have to worry about them. We'll just leave them alone. Man, I really hope I got the one I was thinking of. Yeah, these guys are weird. Uh, okay, so... Just being... This is, this is such a... An annoying level. You can go all the way to the beginning, technically, in this level, but... Oh, I definitely don't want to, so... I want to make sure I got everything. You know what? These pillars might be a little suspicious, to be honest. <laughs> that was fun. What?! Oh, Sneaky, sneaky! It's a good thing I fell, after all. I was actually extremely lucky to have fallen right at that moment because I definitely like Didn't fall what's going on? Oh, that was weird. I pressed the circle button and it made me go on these things instead of the chandelier right in front of me All right, there we go I almost missed that jump because I recall, I just recall there being a lot of secrets in this one. So I don't want to miss them. And you can go up here. Uh huh. Secret. Well, I guess it's not that much of a secret. Ooh. Come on. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have to go all the way back up one more time. How many of them? There's actually only 25 in this level, so it's not even that much. <laughs> I just, I keep pressing the circle button, like, too early, and I keep accidentally going on the thing on the bottom instead of this thing. Although this thing is kind of tilted very upwards right now, to be honest. There we go. So, what, 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 what? Did you see that? Guys, did you see that? Let's just keep moving on and not talk about it. That was so weird just now. It was so weird. Okay. Uh, this is not the way to go, actually. That's just a bunch of clue balls. We are, we are actually supposed to go this way. Ready? What? Where did it make us go? What? Oh, this room is weird. I keep flying everywhere in this room. Okay. This is ridiculous. I just want to get I just want to move on at this point. What the hit? You okay. You heard me press the button. That little sound you make like this sound I make like that's the sound it makes whenever there's like whenever I use the circle button successfully. So like I literally hit the circle button and then I just I I I didn't stick on the thing for some reason. Unless what I actually did was turn invisible instead. That's just as lame. Where are we supposed to go? I actually don't remember. Oh, that way. I didn't even notice that rope. That rope was like... I didn't even notice it. Oh, give me that checkpoint. Jeez. Wait, what? 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 Did you see that, guys? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see this? 
They almost pulled a fast one on me. This is a cool little firework elevator. They actually almost got me just now. Oh boy, this one, this is a tricky level. They really put the clue bottles in all kinds of weird places. Um, so really keep your eyes peeled as much as possible. All right, we got 20, now we got 22. I think I got the ones that I was missing. Man, there are so many in this level that you could definitely miss. It's starting to get a lot trickier, guys. Which is great, because honestly, up until now, the cool bottles have been pretty easy. I think this is the less, the not required path. Which means there should be some clue. Oh, there they are! All the, the rest of the cool bottles are right here. Perfectamundo. All right. Get these guys. I don't even have to worry about anything anymore. Careful around here. Obviously, there's no more. They're not playing around now. They're, they're really starting to pull punches. Where's the safe? I hope I didn't pass it. It's probably around here somewhere. Oh, 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 ah, ooh, yeah, ooh, 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 ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bing. Eh, you know what? There's a safe we were talking about. Press the circle to enter the I'm gonna guess window. one, one, one. Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. You gotta wonder what these actual clues are that he's getting. These esoteric clues. Needs to know chaos theory and have a... IQ of over 140 Incredible. to figure it out. I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. Thanks, Bentley. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. That's actually so funny. Because the assumption is made that we've, felt we've fallen into them. So, um... But it does exactly what it does on the label. You fall off a cliff, you just come right back up. Very useful. So like, interestingly enough, it's like these weird passive abilities that are way more valuable than the actual... It's way more, it seems to be way more valuable than the actual abilities that we get. Oh boy. All right, let's do one more. I think we got time for one more. Um. I think we actually have, we only have two treasure keys, eh? Ooh, the Panda King's talking. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you hear him for a bit. Interesting. All right, King of the Hill. Looks like we got a little bit of a mini game to play. A little bit of a price breaker. Although we haven't done too many sly levels, so maybe I could have saved this one a little bit longer. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. All right. So, um, let's go, Sly. It's the same as last time. Just uh. Be careful. There's a bunch of these guys are gonna. Oh man! I, ah. There's a bunch of these guys that you gotta fight. There's a couple rockets and stuff though. You gotta be careful of. Make sure you don't. Uh, make sure you don't hit Murray, and make sure you don't hit any toxic waste barrels or anything similar to that. Ooh, from behind this time. He does have a horseshoe though. He has my horseshoe from before. So it's not so bad. There we go. You think you got one? You think you can you think you could try your monkey business? Andre? If that if that what a weird name. I don't know, maybe his dad maybe he decided to go with a weird name or maybe they're maybe his dad is maybe he's only half asian or something who knows Bingo! what's his name oh i'm halfway there that would have been more appropriate in the maze of city level you know i'm sure one of those dogs really was named bingo oh, no. 
I'm not really sure what that uh, firework I just shot did, but it did something. I saw something falling. Oh, there's a key. No. Easy. It's almost like a little reaction time kind of thing. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. He's still, I mean, he's got the horseshoe, so honestly, they were pretty much home free at this point. If I remember correctly, it's gonna be like a little ambush, maybe? A little ambush right at the end? No? Where? What? Whoa. All right, well, he got hit one time. Where? Oh, we're actually shooting fireworks, I just realized. It's kind of funny. We're using the Panda King's stuff against him. Yeah. Man. It's a good thing I got that horseshoe. Also, the automatic zoom in is actually not that bad. If I was Murray, I would have just grabbed the key right then and there. And it would have been safer than just standing. Cowering. All right. Well, I think with uh, three treasure keys, we can finally open that one last thing. Uh, the firework lock thing. But I think we'll do that level first in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.